Let's uh, further this conversation. We're now joined by the man himself, Mr. Silo Chiko Twala, musician and Longwe Twala's father. Uh, Mr. Twala, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Now, you confirmed to our journalist, Criselda Lewis, you know, outside court, that yes, indeed, you visited Senzo Meyua's family and that you spoke to his mother uh, over the weekend. Uh, when she asked you why, you said to offer the family support. So my question to you is, why now? And more importantly, what kind of support did you offer the family? Uh, good afternoon, uh, and good afternoon to the viewers. Uh, it's not the first time that I've communicated with Senzo as mom. Uh, I've written letters before to her doing the same thing. So my visit there actually was prompted by a journalist called Zakele Shiba. He called me and said that uh, he was talking to Sifiso Meiwa uh, regarding a, a dossier uh, that is busy with, and Sifiso said something about long way and all that. said, no, as far as I'm concerned, I communicated with Senzo's mom, and uh, I thought that this matter is before the courts. We shouldn't be talking about it and all that on, on documentaries. So that prompted me to say, you know what, let me communicate with Senzo's mom, uh, but uh, Zakele Zach uh, said, no, since, you know, I'm in Devon with this dose, let me communicate with them and see if we can meet. Uh, then he arranged a meeting. I spoke to Senzo's mom and I said I was coming. Then that's how the meeting actually um, uh, occurred, you know, but uh, we're not going to talk about anything else here. I just wanted to, like, you know, give her the support and the assurance that, you know, whatever that is happening now, we should actually allow the we should actually allow the law to take its course. Uh, it was it got nothing. I've been supporting it all the time, all the time. It's not the first time. This this is not new. I think uh, there's a guy called Mzile Gazo Africa who is the architect of uh, Men's Not Peru. Him and a guy from Zambia, uh, Chilala. They are the one who are spreading these lies. Mzile Gazo Africa has been fighting me ever since. You know, uh, I know that he's the one who's actually spreading all the lies about me even that my son is the one who should, he's the one who started everything. So I'm not surprised, you know. He's the one, first one actually to tweet about it. And in fact, uh, Mr. Twala, some of these, um, you know, tweets are saying that you, in, in terms of support, you are offering the world to the family. So uh, according to you, the kind of support that you are offering is one of emotion. Uh, what, what kind of support is it exactly that you're supporting the family? I'm not the kind of person that actually goes into the media if I assist uh, people. I have students who are lawyers that have supported with their education. Senzo's mom is not different. To me, uh, she's actually like a, a sister, uh, everything to me. I wouldn't actually see her in trouble and then in need of something and because there's this case going on and I would live a struggle. No, I wouldn't. You know, I, I did support her even before. This is not the first time. I actually get, it's not about finances and all that. I support her, you know, talking to her and then, uh, uh, you know, encouraging her about uh, what's same. I mean, uh, you, you, we all know that Senzo's mom is actually diabetic and all that. She needs the support. I mean, she lost the breadwinner. She lost someone who actually was taking good care of her. Senzo is no more. So it does not mean that because my son is implicated in this matter, uh, I cannot actually go in there and talk to her. I did that long before this. This is just that, you know, when I do things, I don't talk to people. Unfortunately, Mzilika is well Africa because he's after me. Whatever move I make, he's following me. He just wanted, I, I'm not a devil. I'm actually, I know my heart, you know. Uh, yeah. Whatever people think about me is their own problem. I'm with God all the time. Senzo's mom knows better. You can talk to her. That's why she's not even, she welcomed me. She welcomes me with a smile every time I go. Uh, even next week if I go, she'll welcome me with a smile. There's nothing uh, uh, that uh, most people are thinking about. Absolutely nothing. Now, now, you would understand and appreciate, Mr. Twala, that, you know, given the fact that we heard damning evidence, you know, in court not too long ago, where a statement approved by Tumelo Mazala, who's currently testifying, suggesting that your son, Longwe, killed uh, Osenzo Meiwa and he ran off. So the timing is questionable and the kind of support is questionable because in your own words, as you've said, even if your son is implicated, it does leave that kind of question in terms of, why are you visiting the family? 
Not at all. If my son is guilty, he must go and rot in jail. So, so just talk to uh, us. Are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Are you there? So just talk to us about, no, you know. I'm saying that not at all. Mm. N not at all. I don't think I'm Sinzo's mom or any of the, the Miwa family uh, is enemy. You know, my son's enemies cannot be my enemy. And if my son wronged people, he must suffer the consequences. It does not mean that I support what my son, if my son is implicated and is responsible for Senzo's death, he must go and rot in jail. I don't care what people say. I'll always speak to Senzo's mom. As long as she talks to me, no one is going to stop me. So, so what do you say about earlier testimony that we heard, you know, that you, in fact, straight soon after Senzo Meiwa was murdered, that you, in fact, went to visit Kelly Kumalo at her Malburton home, and that, in fact, uh, after, uh, over everything else that you've offered her, you also offered her an international trip. Uh, what do you say to those, to those um, testimonies that we actually heard um, in, in court? I think what happened on that time, uh, do you recall that uh, Sandra's father uh, mentioned that she doesn't want to see, he doesn't want to see Kelly next to their house. You know, she mustn't come to the funeral and all that. So every time, you know, I was with Kelly at that time, and she was crying profusely. I mean, she had lost the father of uh, of uh, so I, I said to her, you know, maybe you should take a break, get out a bit, go some calm down, because uh, I thought maybe there was too much pressure on her. And that's the reason why I tried to say to her, she can just go out, because it was too much. It's got nothing to do with... Look, I think it's, it's just uh, to... So there's the firearm that short says it's been found. But as you said, the fire arm that shot sensor is there. I don't know why people are actually questioning me about this. Mm. Now, of course... Uh... If that fire arm is long or is mine, maybe, may, if that fire arm belongs to me or whatever, then let me be arrested or let Longo be arrested. I'm not actually uh, defending uh, any criminality or trying to do it. I will always visit Senzo's mom. No one is going... If the person who will stop me from visiting her is her, not anyone. Ha, I'll is, continue. Whether my son goes to jail for life, I will go. Have the police uh, resumed talks with Longwe at this point in time, just given what has transpired in court? Are they questioning him at all? The Longwe, uh, the only time I spoke to police, I spoke to Kika, uh, the policeman called Kina, Kinanda, the investigating officer. He wanted to speak to Longwe, and at the time when he called, Longwe was not available. He was at the air. And then I said, as soon as he comes back, I'll make, he'll be available. He hasn't called, but the indication that he gave me was that he will be needed as a witness. And uh, obviously, let him go and talk like anyone else. Look, he's an adult. I'm not, I'm not going to protect him. Trust me, I'm not going to do that. I'm not that kind of a person, you know. I will never protect anyone who goes astray. That I'm very clear about. What people are saying, that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested in what people are saying. Senzo's mom, I repeat, I will be on her side even if my son is sentenced to death. If there was a death penalty, I wouldn't care. Because him, anyone who goes astray must suffer the consequences. That's my stand. Anything else is their own problem. Should it be found, as you are alluding to, that indeed Longwe uh, knows more than he is suggesting and alluding to, should it be found that indeed, as you say, he is then the guilty party here, should you not then be allowing the law to take its course by, number one, refraining from visiting Senzo Miyua's family? No, but what has that got to do with Longwe is not charged? I'm not charged. The people who are charged, you, we know them, they're standing trial now. What are we trying to say? We are not charged. Me, 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 I'm the same, like anyone else. Well, well I'm not charged. Longo is not charged. If Longo was charged, maybe I would understand. But he's a free man as we speak. All right, Mr. Twala. All the people who were in the house when Senzo was shot, they are free. Okay. There's no interference.
All right, Mr. Twala, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Really do appreciate it. There you have it. Uh, Asilo Chiko Twala there speaking um, on behalf of himself and his son, of course, as follows uh, the recent visit he gave Senzo Meiwa's mother um, over the weekend.